Hello guys, in this After Effects tutorials, I'm going to take you through on how to do this. A cinematic logo reveal animation in Adobe After Effect. Please help him get to 10K subscribers this year. We are going to start with creating a new composition. Feel free to use any other settings, but the setting I'm using here is 1920 by 1080, 24 frames per second. And the entire duration of this animation is going to be 10 seconds. Then we're going to rename this composition and then hit OK. Now we're going to navigate to where we have the logo we want to use. Drag and drop the logo into the project manager window. Make sure you set this to footage and then hit OK. Then drag and drop this logo into the project timeline. This is what you have. Then we're going to control shift C on this to pre-compose and we're going to name this logo holder. Move all attributes to the new composition and then you hit OK. Click on the composition icon below the project manager window to create a new composition. We're going to name this reflection. We're going to leave every other setting as it were, then you hit OK. So I'm going to drag the reflective HDRI image into the project manager window. You set it to footage then drag and drop it into the timeline. Hit S to scale this to fit the frame. Somewhat like this. Then we're going to add a motion tile effect to this. Check this mirror edges. And then we're going to move our time indicator to this point at zero and set a keyframe for the tile center. So we'll move it to 10 seconds forward in time, pull back in, select the tile center and then move it right here. So fit this back to preview window. So if you scrub through the timeline, this is what you have. A moving reflection. Then add fast box blur and make the blurriness that is 20 right click on your timeline go to new and add a new adjustment layer on this adjustment layer we're going to add turbulent displays so if you scrub now this is what it is going to look like beautiful now control n to create a new composition we're going to name this metallic leave every other setting as the same and then hit ok so we're going to switch this to project manager window. We're going to drag reflection into the timeline and drag the main logo holder into the timeline. On the reflection layer, add the effect CC blob lies. So expand the bulbliness. Select the bulb layer to the logo holder composition. Make softness 6 and make cut out 1.5. So if you scrub now, this is what you have, your reflection going through. Switch to project manager window, still create a new composition. Then we're gonna name this metallic and clean logo. Leave the setting the way they were and also hit okay. Add the logo holder composition onto the timeline. Then add the metallic composition into the timeline and then add the logo holder composition one more time above the metallic composition toggle the timeline and set the metallic track mat to the logo then here we're going to check this one so that it will invert this and this is what we have so we're going to go back to the main composition right here so on this logo holder, we're going to add the fill effect. Set the fill color to white. Add the Vegas effect to this layer. 
expand the image contour and set this blend mode to over transparent. So we're going to set the segment to one. Then at zero, we're going to set a keyframe for the rotation and the length. At zero, we're going to set the length to zero. And we're going to move to three seconds forward in time and set the length to one. And set the rotation to 180. So we're going to change this color to blue. We're going to add glow to this layer. Collapse all these other options so that you see what you are doing. On the glow radius, I'm going to set this to 30. Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate the glow. On this second one, I'm going to set the radius to 60. Select this layer on the timeline. Ctrl D on the keyboard to duplicate it one more time. So on this layer, we're going to remove all the glue effect. Then we're going to expand the Vegas effect and change the color to white. Then add CC Radia Fast Blur. So we're going to make the amount 95. So we're going to start previewing everything from 5 seconds. So move your time indicator to 5 seconds, then hit N on your keyboard to set the preview limit. So if you preview this now, this is what you got. I dropped the resolution to third, so you might not be able to see the CC radio fast blur effect, but at the end, you're going to see everything. So now we're going to switch this to project manager window. We're going to add the metallic and clean logo composition onto the timeline. Then we're going to add a gradient wipe effect. Set the transition softness to 50. So you move your time indicator to zero and set a keyframe for the transition complete and change it to 100. Then move the two seconds forward in time and change the transition completion to 50. Hit you on your keyboard to reveal the keyframe. Select all the keyframes right here. Hit F now on your keyboard to easy ease. Then move your time indicator to three seconds forward in time. Hit T on your keyboard to reveal the opacity. Set a keyframe for the opacity at this point. Then move your time indicator to four seconds forward in time and set the opacity value to zero. Also select the two logo layer composition below it. Move to three seconds forward in time. Then hit T on your keyboard. Set a keyframe for the this, for the opacity. And then move to four seconds forward in time and then set the opacity value to zero. Uh, toggle back to project manager window and then add the metallic composition again on top of the timeline. Add a gradient wipe to this layer. Set the transition softness to 50. Move your time indicator back to zero and set a keyframe for the transition complete and then make the transition complete value to 100. Move to two seconds forward in time and set the transition complete to 50. Move to three seconds forward in time. Hit T on your keyboard to reveal the opacity. Then you set a keyframe for the opacity. Then move to four seconds forward in time and set the opacity value to zero. Add a tint effect to this and set the white value to warm color. So select everything, hit you to collapse all the options so that we can have a clean timeline. So with this one still selected, we're going to add a glue effect. We're going to set this glue radius to 41. Ctrl D on the keyboard to duplicate this glow effect. We're going to set this glow 2 to 350 for the radius. So we're going to switch this to timeline. Then we're going to bring the clean logo, that is the logo holder, on top of this. And we're going to have this effect right here. So we're going to add the gradient wipe. So once you have the gradient wipe, we're going to set the transition softness to 50 again. So we're going to set the gradient layer to the metallic 
and clean logo layer. So move your time indicator to two seconds forward in time. And we're gonna set a keyframe for the transition complete. Then we set the value to 100. Then we're gonna move to four seconds forward in time and set the transition complete to 50. So we're gonna duplicate the same layer right here. Control D on the keyboard to do that. So we're gonna hit you on the keyboard to reveal the keyframe. I'm gonna also do the same for the bottom one so that I can see the level of the keyframe because here, I just need to offset this. I'll just offset it to about this point. Then I'll go to the last keyframe right here and change the transition complete to zero. So if you hit your space bar to preview, this is what we got. Beautiful. So we're gonna control A to select all the layer, hit you to clean up the uh, timeline. So we're gonna right click on the timeline, go to new and add a new null object. So we're gonna select all of these layers and make it a child. That is, we're gonna make them child of the null object. Now we're gonna go to zero, hit S on the keyboard for the null object and set a keyframe for the scale. Then we're gonna go to two seconds forward in time. Then we're gonna set the scale to 120. Then we're gonna go to four seconds forward in time and then copy this first keyframe and then paste it right there or just make the value 100. So we're gonna select all these keyframes to easy ease. Then we're gonna have to select the keyframe then switch this to timeline, that's a graph editor. Make your graph like this. Beautiful. So if you preview this now, this is what you got. Beautiful. So we're gonna do one more thing. Right click on your timeline, go to new and add a new adjustment layer. So on this adjustment layer, we're gonna add a glow effect. So on this glow effect, we're gonna make this uh, glow radius to 30. Control D on the keyboard to duplicate this and make the second glow radius 250. Then we're gonna go to the glow intensity and set it to, to 0 0.5. So we're gonna go here, scrub to your timeline to the point where the real logo is showing. That is at this point. Then hit T on the keyboard to reveal the opacity, set a keyframe for the opacity. Then you go back a bit and set the opacity to zero. Then you go forward a bit and also set the opacity to zero. So if you preview now, this is what you have, a cinematic logo reveal animation without the use of any third party plugin, but there's one more thing we're gonna do to pop up this. So we're gonna go back right down here, select the last layer, right click on your timeline, go to new and add a new solid layer. We're gonna name this BG. Then we hit okay, I'm gonna add a gradient ramp. Then we're gonna set this to radial. Then we're gonna swap this. So we're gonna change this color to something very warm, but yet dark, somewhat like this, and hit okay. So we just need to pull in a bit, we move this to the center for this color. Then we're gonna move this away a bit so that we have that spread quite a bit. So we're gonna set the ramp scatter to 1000. This is optional. So let's fit this back to screen and see what we got. So I'm gonna duplicate the BG layer, Control D on the keyboard to duplicate that. I'm just gonna set the bottom color to pure black all through. So I'm just gonna switch this to black right here so that I have black for both. So I'm gonna come here to the point where the real logo is revealing. That is about this point, the top one, I'm gonna hit T on the keyboard to reveal the opacity. I'll set opacity keyframe right there. 
So I'll move it back a bit and then move my timeline forward to then set the opacity value to zero. So that is it. So let's preview. So if you preview now, this is what you have. A cinematic logo reveal animation without the use of any third party plugin. So this is it guys. If you find this tutorial useful and you want to be a better animator, please check the video on the card right here. That is going to help you dive deeper and show you more tools to make you a better animator. So until I see you again on the next one, my name is SSB Otaru for Motion Digit Studios.